Good morning, family. How is everyone doing out there? I hope you guys are good. I hope you're blessed. Um, really quickly, I wanted to show you something that I'm working on today. This is a shut your mouth spell. Yep. This is for anyone that gossips, slanders, lies, talks about you, or just simply can't keep your mouth, your name out of their mouth. Um, this spell can be used for bosses, co-workers, in-laws, friends, family members, court cases, um, and just enemies in general. So if you're having a problem with someone and they're constantly attacking you, they're constantly talking about you, this right here is what you need. There's a few simple ingredients, um, some of which you will probably have around your house. You will need a red candle. You have the option of using a stick candle like the one I have here. You can also use a figure candle um, in a male or female shape, whatever you prefer is fine. Or you can use the glass seven day shut up candle. In this case, I'm actually going to use both, but um, either or is perfectly fine. You will need 13 nails. If you have rusty nails, that's even better. Um, but any type of nails that you have is will work just the same. You will need black pepper, red pepper, and salt. For this particular one, I am using salt peter. Salt peter, uh, just a little quick background on that, was used in the making of gunpowder. And what this does is it adds an explosive effect to your magic. Um, however, regular table salt, uh, witch's salt, or black salt is perfectly fine. You do not need one versus the other, but I had saltpeter on hand, and that's what I decided to use. You will need a paper bag or some parchment paper. As you can see down here in the bottom of the candle holder, I have a piece of brown paper bag with the individual's name written on it. Um, their name is written on the piece of paper 13 times, and across it I have... Um, well, you can write what you feel, but I have shut up, shut your mouth, stop your gossip, silence your lies, um, etc. You guys get the idea. You will anoint your candle with either shut up oil, um, keep away enemy oil. Let's see, where's my other oil? Oh, well, there's one that's called, um, there's a banishing oil that I use by Anna Reba's. Uh, but again, any of the oils, I was trying to find it and show it to you guys, but I don't, oh, here it is. Hold on. Sorry, you guys. A black destroyer, and it says destroys curses, hatred, uh, resentment, envy, and any evil intentions towards you in your home. Okay, so you can anoint, um, you can anoint your candle with that or any type of uh, silencing oil that you find will work just as well, okay? You want to light your candle and you will recite Psalm number 36, which is to quiet the tongues of those who gossip, or any words or incantations that you, you know, you feel fit. Um, and if it's multiple people, then you would want to have one candle for each person. But this is a very strong, very powerful spell. It works very, very, very well. Um, I would suggest you don't want to just do this spell on someone that just, you know, made you mad and you think you're going to make up with them in a day or two. This is a serious spell, and I, it has been known to also cause some, um, some physical, some physical, uh, dis I don't really want to say disabilities, but I know someone that did this and went into court, and the um, prosecutor literally was not able to speak, like, Words were coming out backwards. They weren't able to get their sentences together. They seemed a little confused and disorientated in the courtroom. So they literally were not able to physically speak what was supposed to come out of their mouth. And um, the judge got quite frustrated, as you can imagine. So again, this is not a little lightweight, oh, I'm mad at my best friend. I'm going to do this on her. No, this is for someone that's really been fucking with you. Excuse my French. Um, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to send me a message. If you want to send a private message, drop your questions in the comment box below. 
Um, I love you guys. I thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. I am always here for you. Peace, love, and blessings. I will talk to you guys soon. Mystic at the Crossroads.